Hola, saludos del profe Adams. Today we're going to talk about getting access to the VHL super site. I sent each of you a customized link for your course. And the first thing that you'll want to do is to refer to that link in your email or on Blackboard. I suggest that you use Firefox because that's going to give you the least amount of troubles for this process. It tells you how to set up your account. For returning students, you'll click here. If you're a returning student for VHL, you're going to already have a username and password. That includes if you've used the Vista Higher Learning Super Site for other courses. Now, if you're a new student to Vista Higher Learning, what you're going to do is you're going to click right here, and it's going to take you to a little bit different area. And it's going to tell you exactly how to uh, create a new login as well as to get your activation code. So let's go ahead and do that. Create a unique username. Yours is going to be whatever you want it to be. Your email. Make sure to use your CFCC email. Put in a password. Put in your personal information. And then your date of birth with the year. And then your security question and it'll say account created. It's asking for your school. At Cape Fear, I find it easier just to, ironically enough, put in the word fear. Hopefully you're not afraid of Spanish class or your school. And the second one down is Cape Fear Community College and select school. Now here, this is the spot where people really have some trouble. Um, so you have picked Cape Fear Community College. You want to make sure that you get that confirmation up there. So this is the important spot. If you do not have a code, you will want to pay very close attention because you have nothing to enter in here. So what are you going to enter in this box? You got nothing. You're going to want to skip this step. So right there, you go right here and you go skip this step. Okay. That's extremely important. So it's the first time that you do this. Now, First, you're going to click Show Courses. Currently, I've only got three courses up at Cape Fear in the fall and spring. Sometimes I have a lot more. Um, so you're, you've got several to choose from. So what do you do? Well, you go right back here to this sheet, and it tells you, well, what's, our, what's this course that I have at the bottom? This is Online SPA 111-181, IO4 10-week. Well, so this student's going to need to sign up for that one. So you'll click here. Uh-oh. Well, it looks like there's a problem because it's telling you that you must have a code. Well, at the beginning of the course, I want you to go ahead and get started. So if you don't have a code, um, that's fine. You have a, a week or two to go ahead and buy the code. Go ahead and select this course. It's telling you right up here at the top, you don't have all of the required access to complete this course. That's fine. I get notified um, daily of all the people who have tried to access the course. I'll go ahead and let you in as soon as I can. No worries, you'll get in soon enough. And then um, all you have to do is come back. And once I have given you the temporary access, you'll see right here, I have access that expires in 14 days. So this course is live now. And if there were assignments that were due, they'd be in there. If you have any questions, all you have to do is shoot me an email. And my email is GC Adams 652 at cfcc.edu. All right. Thanks, guys. Hasta la próxima vez. Nos vemos.